Checking in on the 2021 Intra-Africa Trade Fair that's uh, currently happening in Durban. So let's cross over to Diabo Seto. We spoke to her a bit earlier, unfortunately, just a little bit of uh, sound issues. So let's uh, go to her once again, see what she's got for us. Diabo, never had an opportunity to actually go and have a look at some of the stalls. I can see that's where you are. A am I correct in saying that each day, each country has a chance to sort of showcase and, and host that particular day? It looks like it's South Africa's turn. I'm not sure. Please educate me. Is that what's happening? happening today. <laughs> Precisely, yes. Uh, and, and apologies once again for the technical issue that we had earlier on. But you are correct. And uh, every day a country gets a, a chance to host. Um, it, call, it would be called a South Africa uh, country day. Or I know that today, today we will be having a Nigeria country day where the country gets to showcase everything that it has got to got in trade wise. But remember, we are still in conversation with the Premier of um, Itagwini, Mr. Sisa Zigalala. Um, he's been telling us about the economic economic spin-offs that um, Durban or Etewini, as it's known, um, is said to have because of this trade fair. Mrs. Galala, uh, apologies about earlier on. You were still telling me about how much you were expecting to make from this conference, directly and indirectly, including jobs, by the way. Well, I had already said that more jobs have been opened. Mm, IEC itself reported that they've managed to bring back more than 1,200 staff members were put on leave. Etegwini is expected to benefit to the range of more than 150 million in terms of services and uh, the business community, hotels and all of that. So it is going to have a spin-off for the province. Yeah. But more so, we must not forget it's going to be a platform for our uh, <clears throat> entrepreneurs to begin to link with other countries, yes. access the market of Africa and trade with Africa. Mm. I'm excited when I'm in Durban because I always think about the ocean's economy. Mm. What opportunities are there seeing that we are at the coast, you know, uh, for entrepreneurs here to take elsewhere well, and vice versa? The first is the whole issue of tourism, mm. which is the cruise terminal. We finished the cruise terminal and we will be opening it soon. Uh, before the month of December and that will mean that people can now have a cruise back from here to Mozambique and to other parts as uh, MSC uh, is offering that service. But more than that, you will know that there's a lot that comes with ocean economy. Mm -hmm. Whether you talk of oil, whether you talk of uh, boats repair and ship repair, all of that. And being along the coast, we are supporting entrepreneurs to come into the space of fishing. Uh, fishery is important. Yes. And we have managed to secure licenses for some to ensure that they participate in fishing with permission, but also supported in terms of equipment so that they maximize in terms of uh, productivity. Won't you take us into your confidence about the number of deals and um, signings that you are due to do? Today? Well, that will be finalized at the end of the conference, but we're happy with the proceedings mm. because many companies, uh, B2B meetings, have already taken place and are continuing, and people are sealing deals, which is good. Partnership is what built us because we might have. Uh, some product which other countries don't have, but also we need other products from other countries. Yeah. Uh, Premier, I know that you are due to go and I have to let you go now because I know that there are other people waiting to interview. But thank you so much uh, for sharing with us the plans uh, that the city of Etewini is busy with. We really appreciate yes, it. Yes, thank you. This is the plan of KwaZulu Natal yes. as a whole, as the province. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks. That was Premier Sisle Zigalala. He, he has detailed out the plan of the province and how this uh, trade is going to help the economy of the province in its entirety. Of course, the, pro the trade fair is being held here, um, and it is important in the context, Lian, of the economy that has really suffered due to the pandemic and also due to uh, the riots that we saw in October. He does tell us about uh, their rebuilding plans and that this is one of the catalysts. This conference, this trade fair, is one of the catalysts. You did mention earlier on, Lian, about some of the stalls that you said you didn't get to see but listen i got to see some of them and a little later today i will be going through to some countries so that we can see what they have to offer we did go to the ghana store yesterday 
Uh, they're big in agro-processing and agriculture um, and also in share butter. I know there are a lot of ladies that watch us use share butter. And as you can see, we are at the South Africa store right now. Um, a little later, people will start to fill in here um, and we will speak to the South African entrepreneurs as well to find out what do they have in store for the rest of Africa. Remember that uh, through this intra-Africa uh, trade fair, it is hoped that intra-Africa trade will be increased from its current low levels of between 14 to 16 percent to at least increase. When you look at other countries and other continents, that, for instance in Europe, you find that intra-Africa tra intra-trade there uh, goes up to more than 50 percent and we're hoping that with Africa and its vast minerals, this will also become the case. Leanne. Wonderful. Thanks very, very much. Enjoy it. Yeah, well, I mean, there's so much on offer and it's great. I mean, I just hope that uh, this one is uh, a very fruitful one. I know that in the previous one that was held uh, and that was in Egypt, I think there was something like 40 uh, billion dollars of contracts that were actually signed. So they're hoping that they'll be able to improve on that. But of course, with economic conditions, who knows how it'll turn out. But it's, it's, it does seem to be quite optimistic. All right.